this is when I really kind of uh, felt just the magic of the first principle of alignment, iterative co-creation. is isn't just the two steps in the four-step process. It's becoming this self-aligning organization that just knows they can go right back into realignment, that they can come up with a new proposal for how they're going to do this. And what was great about it was it was just so productive because they already knew what to do. And nobody wants somebody to proceed with things that they know aren't working. They want them to step right in, go back to the table and work it again, realign around it. That's what you want. Iterative co-creation because that's the reality of how things work. What's the first principle of alignment? Iterative co-creation. Why don't you just bring it back to their attention? Like, hey, we talked about this a couple of months ago. It's still slipping. What's going on? What should we do now? What proposals do we have? How do we stay on the creative side of that equation instead of just falling into, you know, um, it's not working. So, ah, forget about it. Why should I bother? You know, why should I come in and rat on this person? Why should I uh, go and confront this person? It doesn't have to be a confrontation. When you, when you practice iterative co-creation, it's the reality of how things are. And you can just maturely bring it back to the table. Like, hey, we thought we'd be here, but we're not. What do we do now? You know, hey, what's the proposal on the table for that? What's, here's a request. What, do we, what should we do with this request? Are you willing to try it? What's really happening? So they can stay in that shuva co-creative place um, instead of being blaming and shaming that we said X and Y happened and why didn't X happen, blah, blah, blah. You know, which is just creating that toxic environment where we somehow think we have a crystal ball and we know it's going to happen six months from now. Just That's just not what reality is.